Welcome to Audio Codes Training Academy. This video tutorial will show you how to configure an IP address on a media or media pack. There are several methods to assign an IP address to the device. You can use the serial port, use Telnet or the web browser using the default IP address. When utilizing the serial port, the default baud rate is 115-200 baud with the standard Hayes compatible modem settings. In the example shown, TerraTerm is being used as the serial terminal. In order to configure the new remediants IP addresses using this method, the user must edit the running configuration. Log into the serial interface using the default case sensitive username and password admin admin. This level allows the monitoring of the median. In order to make configuration changes, you must elevate the privileges by typing EN and follow it with the default case sensitive password admin. To view the current configuration, type show run. Each time more appears on the screen, hit the space bar to display the next page of information. Look for the line interface network interface zero. This is the default configuration for the OMMP interface that will need to be changed. Continue to hit the space bar until the show run configuration is finished. Next, enter the command config VoIP, which stands for configure VoIP. Next, type INT and hit tab. The software will tab complete the command interface for you. You can do the same thing for the remaining commands, network interface, and finally zero. For this example, we are just setting the IP address to the currently assigned IP address. To change the IP address, type the command IP address followed by the new IP address. Notice that you get a note saying that this will only change when you issue the activate or exit command. Now change the default gateway IP address, the prefix length, which is the network mask in the number of masking bits, and the primary and secondary DNS server IP addresses if required. Once the parameters are configured, type exit to get out of the network interface level and type exit again to exit out of configuration. Now burn the configuration to flash by typing write and verify the new IP address settings by issuing the show run command again. To utilize the serial port for the older media and the media packs, set the default baud rate to 9600 baud with the standard Hayes compatible modem settings. As before, TerraTerm is being used as the serial terminal. The configuration on these devices utilizes command shell commands. These devices do not require login when connected to the serial port. Hit enter to see a list of directories and commands available. Enter the configuration directory by typing CONF. When using command shell, only the capital letters shown in the directory or command name are required. To see what the current IP address settings are, enter GCP IP. This is short for Git Configuration Parameter. Notice it returns the current IP address, network mask, and default gateway. To change the IP settings, enter the command set config param or SCP IP and hit enter. The command shell will return with what additional parameters are required to complete the command. In this case, it wants the IP address, network mask, and default gateway parameters. Type these parameters in that order. In this example, the existing IP address was not changed. Notice that once the SCP command was entered, the device assigned the IP address immediately. Syslogs are sent to the screen to report the changes to the configuration. Verify the IP setting was correct by typing GCP IP again. When using Telnet or the web browser to connect to the device, you will need to know the default IP address from the factory. The list of devices shown here are the most commonly configured devices using Telnet or the web browser. 
To connect via the web browser, make sure your PC is in the same subnet. Launch the web browser using the default IP address for the device. Log in using username and password admin admin. Ensure that the advanced or full radio button is clicked in the navigation tree. Expand the VoIP and network folders and click on the IP interfaces table web page. This is known as the multiple interfaces table. This table would contain the default IP address shown earlier. To edit it, first click on the table entry so that it is highlighted and click on the edit button. At this point, change the fields in the row as needed, such as the IP address, prefix link, default gateways, and DNS servers. Click save when completed. Prior to firmware release 7.0, Mediants required a reset for the IP address to be changed. From 7.0 on, this is no longer required. On the MP, ensure the configuration button and full radio buttons are selected as before. Next, expand the VoIP folder, network folder, and click on the IP interfaces table web page. On the MP, the device uses a single IP settings table. Edit the field as necessary and submit the changes. Note that if you're adding DNS, you will need to reset the MP for them to take effect. We hope you have found this video useful. If you need more information, you can download our documents from www.audiocodes.com library.